Hey guys and we are back with another quick how to video and this time we are gonna make hot box marking menus. So as you can see I have set my marking menu according to the way I like and you can set them according to the way you like. For example I need graph editor, freeze transformations and some other tools that I use often. But in your case if you want some other tools then we are gonna learn how to make them according to our needs. So first of all, why would we need a hotbox marking menu? Let's see guys, if I'm working on a project and I, and I need to use some tool, for example, let's say I need to use bevel on this edge. Then I need to select the edge, go to modeling and then select edit mesh and bevel. But if I need to make it more handy, then what I can do is I can either put it on a custom shelf. For example, I can go here and control shift and left click on bevel and I'll have it here. I already had it here so I'm going to delete this but now if I have to use this I'll if I'm on some other tab I'll have to come to the custom tab and click it but what if I can make it more handy and not just for the bevel tool all the tools that I need so for that we create a custom hotbox marking menu set so let's learn how to do that so for example let's say you have all your tools that you need right here but you don't need to use it from the custom shell. So let's first go to window, settings and preferences, go to marking menu editor. Now here I already have my, my set ready. I'm gonna delete this. Now I'm gonna create a new one for you guys. So now these are the same options that you get when you click spacebar and then you left click somewhere for example right at the center of it when you left click you get the views top view left view and other views but if you go towards the left side of it then the option changes same towards the top part right and the bottom also now it doesn't matter if i click left or right it does the same thing but now as you can see guys right here it shows change panel layout hot box north so on north side of it north is this let's say this top part is north so let's say if i press space i go towards the north and if i left click it's the same middle is the same and right is also the same but now we know we can use the change panel layout for the left mouse button and use the middle and right for something else. But we don't need to go to the north to select our tools. You can do if you want but I'm gonna keep it at the center of it. It's more handy for me. So let's create our own marking menu. Now let's first name it my set. Now, now you need to see which tool are you gonna use more often. So for example, I'm going to be needing my graph editor. I'm going to keep it on left. Then I'll need non-deformer history. This way I can clear my non-deformer history easily. And my outliner, if it's not available here, or I'm changing the views. Now I need these tools. For example, select hierarchy, freeze transformations, and center power. Now let's set the other tools also. So if I need the polygon count also, I don't need to put it here because these two these two panels I need to use for something more important that I need handy at the click of a button. I can put this here below. Now it used the spot and gave us a new one. Now the list can go on. For example, I can use the multi cut tool and paste it here. I can use the bevel edge, paste it here. And it's gonna keep increasing. I'm gonna fill all the things I need, for example, the constraints also. Now, let's say these are the things that I'm gonna use. So, we can test it from here. Now, if I left click on it, you can see on the left side, because we put our graph editor here, we have a graph editor. The top left is our hierarchy, select hierarchy. 
In the middle, we have crease transformation, then center pivot, non-deformer history, and on the bottom, we have outliner. As you can see, these two options are free. We can put our tools if you want here, but I've left them free for now. As you can see, polygon count is down below now. So if I need to use see the polygon count of the selections, I, I can click on it. Then the multi-cut, bevel, create joints, texture deformer, parent constraint, and attach to motion part. So if you need something else, you can also add it here. For example, we forgot to add something important. I do use a lot of planes, so I can put a plane here also. By the way guys, to put your uh, tools here, all you need to do is middle click on the option you want to choose, drag it and drop it where you want to place it. Now our marking menu is all ready. So let's save it, close it. Now we need to assign a key for it. So let's say I want to use my marking menu inside the hotbox. As I told you guys before, I'll be using at the center. Now, when we press the spacebar button and left click, we get these options. I don't want to mess with them. So I'll be using the right click. Let's go back to perspective view. I'll be using, so I don't think, yeah, the right is not set because I deleted my custom set. So let's give it right click. Now apply settings. Now my set is inside the hotbox center with the right mouse button. Now if I close this, now as you can see this is my scene and if I press space, right click, I have my graph editor. Freeze transformations, I can also now for example, I can move it and freeze transformations. I can center the pivot if it's not. I can clear the non-deformer history and it's all gone now. And I can do some more thing. So this was the thing that I wanted to teach you guys because it's really handy when you're modeling or animating something and you need to use the tools and you don't want to go through the hassle of changing tabs and custom shelves and normal shelves again and again. At that time, this tool helps you really greatly. This was it for this video guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to our channel CG family. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.